What's going on guys? This is Empty Box, and this is Formula Truck, the latest sim from Reza Studios, the people behind Game Stock Car, Game Stock Car 2012, which are both great sims. This is still based on the G Motor 2 platform, much as Game Stock Car was. However, with what they were able to do with Game Stock Car, I wouldn't look at that as a downside <laughs> at all, because Game Stock Car is and still is amazing. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This sim is obviously simulating Brazilian truck racing. And by truck, I don't mean what we have in the United States with NASCAR trucks. I mean trucks. It should be pretty obvious here that we're talking about semis, lorries, big rigs, whatever you want to call them. So anyways, let's take a look through the menu here, see what's available. Obviously, a lot of these tracks are from Games.Car. You will be familiar with them from there, uh, such as Brasilia, Cascavel, uh, Curitiba. There's a lot of new tracks here, such as this place. I'm not going to even try and present because I will absolutely fall on my face and embarrass myself. So, there are a bunch of new tracks that have been added that are new, that are not seen in Game Stock Car. I'm hoping that hopefully they will combine the two into one. Uh, and obviously we have a wide variety of trucks. There are a couple of them that are licensed, a couple of them are not licensed that I'm naming, but... I'm sure you guys out there probably can figure out what a Skane truck is. Well, I sure can, but Mannheim, Baden, obviously, Mercedes-Benz, pretty obvious stuff. So let's go ahead and pick one, and then I will uh, get into some racing. Okay, time to go racing. Doing a stay and start here. I am starting in second gear. That is because first and second seem to be the exact same ratios. I'm not sure if that's realistic to how these trucks are in the real world, but that is how they are here, so we'll make do. It is a standard six-speed gearbox. Uh, none of that 18-speed big rig over the road stuff that you see in, obviously, the normal trucks on a daily basis. This is against the AI 101% AI strength, 100% aggression. These are the same settings that I use in game stock car and get a pretty good result out of, well, relative to this engine. G Motor 2 is not an engine I consider to have good AI, so we'll see how it handles here. And especially with these trucks, obviously, they really like to be driven kind of sideways, kind of tail out, uh, because otherwise they just do not turn. And typically, that is something that the AI has struggled with in this engine. Another thing that they usually struggle with is they drive extraordinarily slow on the first lap, and yes, that is a pink truck in front of me. Just thought I'd point that out. I can see that being a favorite online. Oh, yeah, going up the inside. See, this just makes me want to drive super aggressively, you know, because of the fact that it is a big truck. It just feels right to just plow your way past people. It's the BTCC on steroids. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that guy was completely sideways, and he saved it. So that's pretty good. But One thing that is kind of weird is how close you can actually get to the back of someone. Obviously no real downforce going on in most of these trucks. I believe there is one uh, that is the exception to this. Feature the flat face noses that uh, are more common in the rest of the world. Obviously here in the United States you never see any trucks like that. But that's kind of something that I kind of find really weird to adjust to. Like I'm still got about two feet in front of me. But in terms of the way these things drive, they are a blast <laughs> to drive, as you might imagine. They do not turn the best, not necessarily surprising, but they do certainly have some great tail out handling abilities. Without a lot of weight out back, they do tend to be a little squirmy and a little bit sideways on your power, which quite frankly makes it all the more fun. This thing's put out about 1,250 horsepower or so. Obviously enormous amounts of torque. Obviously they weigh about as much as a ship. And uh, yeah, you can just go ahead and figure that out. Perhaps the most difficult thing to get into with this is just the fact that you have to brake so far in advance, uh, especially on some of the slower tracks. This is really noticeable. Uh, I was doing some testing off camera, just getting used to this, and <laughs> it's really mind blowing how early you have to brake for some of these corners. But again, because of the fact that they do have 1200 horsepower, so when they get going, they get going. I mean, just look at the speed on the straight, and this is in miles per hour. I mean, 
<laughs> These things run like a runaway locomotive. I mean, that's 135 miles an hour on the straight out of a, what, 50 mile an hour corner. Pretty impressed by the AI at this point. I can definitely see these things being a blast online. <laughs> these just have popularity written all over them. I mean, I'll be honest, the, the idea of racing trucks like these didn't necessarily appeal to me outside the fact that obviously Riza Studios has done an amazing job with pretty much everything that they've done so why not give this a whirl but they just have fun handling and they make for great close racing because of the fact that they're not really fast I mean yes they are certainly immensely fast for a truck like this but you know it's not something where you're talking about like a GT1 class car that you know puts down 600 horsepower is completely dependent on grip and, and you know generates a fair amount of downforce so it's like touring car racing only more awesome Now, on the subject of driving these things, one thing I noticed besides the gearbox issue, which I'm not sure if it's an issue, it just seems kind of weird that you'd have two same speeds in the gearbox. Again, that could be 100% entirely correct, but the default setup out of the box is pretty crappy, I'm going to say, or maybe it just wasn't necessarily suiting my style, but what I did to cure the fact that that setup does not turn at all was move all the weight that I could out back in the menu as well as uh, increase the rearward weight bias or excuse me rearward brake bias uh, the default brake bias bias yeah talking and driving at the same time is pretty difficult not gonna lie the default brake bias is 70% up front 30% out back which will make for a car that likes to go straight and is very stable under braking now I changed that to about 63% front brake bias, and I've been having a lot more results, a lot better turning abilities, although maybe a little bit too much as I'm getting a little bit of lockup going into the corner. But then again, with something like this that doesn't turn, you got to kind of use that to your advantage. These things are definitely drivable sideways, though. Kind of makes me wish we had like a super light version designed specifically for drifting. Whoa, that guy's going sideways. Now in terms of graphics, I wouldn't really consider that an important thing. However, for one, the G Motor 2 engine is showing its age. You know, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's the driving that really matters, and the driving here, as well as in, you know, game stock car is definitely pretty darn good, pretty darn fun. But it doesn't seem like the tracks this time around are as good of quality as they are in game stock car from a graphical standpoint. Uh, you know, it could maybe just be the fact that with this different perspective, obviously, looking down at the road a lot more uh, than looking out like you would in, you know, what was slung actual race car rather than a race truck. It could just be highlighting that, but I just kind of feel like it just doesn't look as good 
uh, from a track standpoint. Obviously, the trucks are wonderfully modeled. They look great. The skins have great resolution. They're not really you know, pixelated or anything. So that's just kind of one really weird thing, as well as the fact that it seems like every trackside banner is for Risa Studios, which uh, I know there was a delay for this game largely because of the licensing, which I'm wondering if that's part of it. But I also wonder why in the world that didn't happen with Game Stock Car. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a really, really, really minor thing because, well... It's all about the racing. How does the racing act? The AI does seem a little bit timid on the brakes. Or maybe I'm just being overly aggressive. I'm sure, obviously, in the real world, in these things you would have to be fairly conservative with the brakes especially over any race length uh, because I can imagine these things get insanely hot and wear at an insanely fast pace so you know that could be what they're simulating or, or something like that you know obviously here in a 15 minute long race probably not going to have too terribly much issue with that I just can't get over how fast these things are in a straight line. I'd really like to see these things at like uh, Talladega or Daytona. That'd be quite hilarious. Oh, they would probably flip over. Which I'm sure someone is probably wondering in the comment section down below. Can you flip the things? Uh, I don't know and I'm not about to try. Although maybe I'll try a little bit later after this race. I do get the feeling though that I am doing something very wrong in my driving with these things. Obviously these are unique vehicles and are going to require a fairly unique driving style. But I'm just not quite convinced I'm approaching it the right way. You know, right now I'm approaching it as a very big, heavy car with a lot of power. You know, and you have to use that power to get the car to turn. Which doesn't necessarily seem right. I feel like I should have the rear end out even more. Basically driving the thing sideways all of the time. Which right now I'm mostly just pushing through the corners and then powering off. I'm also not sure what the uh, gearbox, what the uh, procedure is with this. I'm guessing they're probably using sequentials of some sort because obviously most big rig trucks that you see on the road aren't going to have six speed gearboxes. Well, for obvious reasons, such as the fact that they usually are hauling stuff. But I'm not sure exactly. And this would be a fairly easy thing to, you know, take notice of. You know, just how much should I be using the torque? You know, should I just basically leave it in fourth and fifth gear and never even, you know, touch third and just let the thing just go? Because obviously with the amount of torque that these things have, they will pull. But You know, that, that again is something that goes back to 
just being diesel in general. You know, one of the things I noticed uh, with the R10 and R15 mods for GTR2 was the fact that you could basically short shift and actually go faster uh, because of the fact that they're both diesel. Both of them have, you know, immense torque. Should be coming up on the end of the race here. And one other thing on a sidebar note, uh, by default it includes the track map plugin uh, that shows you know, the track map and where everybody is and all that stuff. Uh, personally I find that highly annoying. You can disable it though. I couldn't find any way to disable it in game. I just basically went into the configuration settings in the folder and turned it to off. Uh, real simple, easy thing to do. Again, I kind of wish they would have a actual uh, setting in the menu, uh, but I think that might have been the same case with Game Stock Car as well. I know it included it by default, but you know, again, a lot of you guys out there will probably like that plugin. Personally, can't say I'm a fan because I like having a nice, clean screen space. So. I gotta say, the sounds are pretty good. Yeah, at least for this type of vehicle. I mean, I can imagine these are very tricky sounds to get absolutely spot on. Because, well, I'm without actually seeing these things in real life, just kind of guesstimating from you know the semi trucks I've heard before. Obviously, uh, you know, not so much the noise, but the actual feel that they, you know, give you. I can imagine with a racing version it'd be even more. <laughs> so silly. It's just so absurdly silly. Something like this should not go this fast. It should not be legal. It should not even be possible. It just should not happen at all. I think that was probably the end of the race right there, actually. Because the display went to 12 out of 12. I don't run with the message center up either, uh, or the flag warnings. Just, again, because I like the extra screen space. Personal choice. So, yeah, that's that. Pretty solid AI. Pretty impressive, actually. They all managed to keep it together in one piece. They were fairly challenging. They are a little bit easy to take under the braking, but... And this guy's going crazy. He's just... He's driving like a man possessed. So that's going to be that. Pretty impressive. Pretty fun. This is a another home run, if you ask me, from Riza Studios. Definitely one that uh, should be added to your library if you are a sim racer. If only for the fact that it's completely unique. Can't think of anything else of recent note to feature anything like that this so pretty fun pretty fun pretty exciting or maybe the race isn't over is the race over okay now the race is over and I'm about to run out of fuel so I'll just go ahead and finish this lap up bring it in the pits and call it a video If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and ask. Uh, and yes, I pass people on the cooldown lap because I'm, I'm a boss like that.
<laughs> Kablam. One other thing on an interesting note, no pit speed limiter in these things. Uh, not that that's really all that revolutionary or all that critical. Just a kind of weird thing I noticed. So. That's going to be that. Again, any questions, feel free to go ahead and ask. Uh, anything like that. And they are all just totally exploding in the pit lane. <laughs> Hey, uh, you gotta love them. So, that's that. That's Formula Truck. Pretty fun, pretty, pretty interesting little sim from Risa Studios. So, I right, bye.